So right off the bat, you can see that the title of this video is S400 versus S410 versus S430. As you can see, there's only two turbos here because the S430 does not exist. It doesn't exist. Stop asking for it, it doesn't exist. Sorry, it's a little grouchy there. I land it, you gotta get us ice cream. Steven didn't get ice cream today. That travel a little upset. So if you go way back in our YouTube channel, we did do a video on S400 versus S410. Uh, but what we knew then and what we knew now are completely different. We're much smarter, two years smarter. Um, so I do want to talk about these two turbos. There's an extreme price difference between them two. Um, and to kind of tell you why there's a price difference, tell you what makes them different. And then you could decide if, you know, if the S410 is worth the extra money to you or if the S400 is where you want to be. Let's jump into it. Right off the bat, we can see there's quite a difference in the compressor cover of these turbos. Uh, the S400 uses a standard style compressor cover, whereas our S410SX counterpart uh, uses a race style cover with the anti-surge uh, ring in there. As you can see, you can see that the the cuff there is much larger over top where your rubber boot would go. The other thing you'll probably notice is that we have a cast compressor wheel here, even though it kind of looks billet because of the way the light's in it, but it is cast, versus a forge mill bullet billet wheel here. Um, and the billet wheel is extended tip technology as well. You'll also notice here that there's a speed sensor port. Now, this is not drilled all the way through, guys. It's tapped there and it's drilled. So if you're not gonna run a speed sensor, you can leave this alone. But if you wanna run a speed sensor, you pull the cover off, drill this hole the rest of the way through, and then you could run a speed sensor in the turbo. And the differences continue as we go into the bearing housing. Here we have the S400 bearing housing, and here we have the S410 bearing housing. Now guys, these aluminum tags pop riveted on are the same size. So I mean, look at that aluminum tag in comparison to the bearing housing versus look at that one compared to the bearing housing. Look how much more material is here in the bearing housing. And now, what this S410 does in that bearing housing, it also promotes wider bearing spacing. And what bearing spacing means is these are the journal bearings, and both of these turbo are journal bearing turbos, and they use the same journal bearings. And granted, these are all scarred up, guys, because they're used journal bearings. I'm not gonna take apart a good turbo for its journal bearings for a video. So, here's the journal bearing. So, an S400, they might be like this. On S410, the journal bearing spacing is wider. And let's do a demonstration real quick to show what exactly wider bearing spacing will do for you. Look at Steven's hands. This would be like S400 bearing spacing. You can see that he's got some spacing. Now look what happens when Colin gives any sort of rigidity to it. You can see that there's a lot of play. All right, now Steven, spread your arms out further. This would be like an S410 SX with larger bearing spacing. Colin, hit it. See, there's a whole lot less more movement because of the fact that Steven's hands are more spread apart. Last but not least, we jump into the turbine housings, which are identical. Both of these turbos are interchangeable with turbine housings. They both come factory with the 132, and that is the same thing for the turbine wheel. They both come with the 96 by 88 millimeter turbine wheel. That is identical on these turbos. All right, so we talked about the similarities and differences between the S400 and the S410 SX. Um, just to touch back on the S430 after my little rant earlier in the video. So the S430 is originally what all these big SX turbos were sold under. Uh, then probably about two, three years ago, maybe four years ago, the S430 SX was discontinued and re renamed the S410 SX. The part number series stayed the same. So you had the 1496, 0001, 002, 003, 4, 5. They are all the same. They used to be called S430s. Now they're called S410s. I can't tell you how many times people have called or I've seen things on the internet where people are like, yeah, the 430 is better than the 410. They're not. It's the same. It's like saying that 12 is better than a dozen. They're different names, but they're the same thing. So... If you want an S430, they're gone. If you have an S430, it just means you have a really old version of what they're selling now is the S410. So let's jump in a little bit about the differences. So this is an S410 SX with a V-band style cover. Uh, what I have here is the Caterpillar style cover. This is the Quad Zero that everyone talks about. Um, and this fits on this turbo. You can get this turbo in a V-band style or the Caterpillar style. 
Uh, the V-band style comes in 78 millimeter and 80 millimeter, and the Caterpillar style comes in 78, 80, and 82. S400 is also offered in different compressor style covers. So this is a V-band style. You can also get it with a slip joint style. Now, aside from compressor covers, there's also differences with the wheels. Uh, so this is an S400 SX, so it's a 7 plus 7. There's an SXE series where you can get billet 10 blade. The S410 does not come in an SXE. You can only get it in an SX. So in the S400, you can get SX or SXE. The S410, you can only get SX. The S410 was kind of really developed as like an OEM application. Uh, so I don't want to jump too deep down the rabbit hole, guys, here, because we can go on and on and on. But you'll see a lot of stock applications like the S410G, uh, which is a stock application turbo for Caterpillar 3406 models. And then Borgwarner basically just used the X SX as a performance. So if you see an S410G, that's just a wastegated S410. It has this same bearing housing, but it's not going to have the billet wheel or things like that. Um, whereas, like I said, with the 400 series, you'll see there's SX, SXE, everything, different wheels, things like that. Um, the other thing you'll notice in the S410 series is sometimes you'll see a GX, which is the wastegated series of the SX. The wastegated housing, only wastegated housing available is a 165. It's not so great. There's really not a lot of people that ever need a housing so big. So if you get a turbo that's an S410GX, that's the SX series, originally came with a wastegate. Um, and that can be changed because, like I said, all these wastegate, all these exhaust housings are interchangeable. So there's a 115, a 132, a 145, a 158, and a 165 wastegated. All of those housings will fit both of these turbos, your S400 and your S410. Um, and those housings will also fit the SXE models that are using the 96 millimeter wheel. Um, we don't really want to talk about the SXE because we don't really see them used much with our customers except for a couple specific scenarios. Um, the SXEs can also get offered in a smaller turbine wheel, I believe an 87 millimeter. We're only talking about the 96 millimeter turbos here. All right, gang, so like I said, I could go on and on and on about S410s and S400s and all the different variants because they're extremely popular turbos. Um, this would almost be like, you know, let's argue about the best kind of pizza because all plain pizzas are not created equally. Um, but back on track. So one last thing to touch on, you know, when would you want to use the S400 versus the S410? Um, S400, straight up, it's a much cheaper turbo. As of the time that we're shooting this video, this one's 2,600 bucks and this one's 1,100. So you can buy two of these and have money left over versus the S410. Um, there are certain applications that the S410 is gonna work much better because it is a more robust turbo. Between the 360 degree thrust bearing, the more you know, the wider bearing spacing, the better bearing housing, uh, the race compressor cover, there's gonna be certain times where it's worth the extra money for that. And then there's gonna be certain times where you're just best off going with the cheaper option. What we see usually, your Detroit, your 12.7s, your 14 liters, those guys normally tend to use the S400 based turbos. And then when we have guys shooting for big power, so say you got a Detroit making like north of 650, if you don't wanna go with an SXE, you jump up to the S410. Uh, same thing with ISX guys running non-BGT. They normally go with the S410 for big power, anything north of 600. Anything south of 600, so like your 500s, your 525s, your 565 horsepower, S400 frame does just fine. For Caterpillar applications, basically everyone is running the S410 SX. Um, this turbo is basically designed for Caterpillars, so all your factory oil lines and everything will line right up on any of your single turbo caps, your 3406Es, and your uh, early model C15s. So... For cat guys, this is really the way to go. We have some customers with cats that use the S400 on the Caterpillar. It's not to say there's anything wrong with that. It's just not gonna be a direct fit. You're gonna have to hack up your oil lines and it really wasn't designed for that. So the S400, it's a great turbo. We just did another video on the 171702. If you'd like, the link to that is below. Uh, it's a great cheap turbo. Whereas the S410 SX comes in Caterpillar style or it comes in the Detroit Cummins style. Uh, it's a go-to bolt on upgrade for all your Caterpillar guys or if you're looking for to make a little bit more power because it's a little bit more of a robust turbo. Guys, if you want me to go deeper on this topic, like I said, there's a ton of information here. I'm happy to do it. I wanted to give you just like a quick overview 
of these two turbos because we get the question all the time what the difference is and why you should go with one versus the other. So I hope that this kind of gave you a little bit of information on it. Feel free to give us a call for some clarity or if you want to hear me ramble about these some more, leave some you know comments down there saying, Joe, please make another video. You're a nerd and we love you and you're overweight but your beard's sick. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Tune in next week. We're going to drop another video. We're going to try to keep these coming. All right, gang. Take care.